Yeah. So we're about ready to do this. 16 years. That's weird. Yeah, I guess so. I, 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 had, I had the weirdest weekend. I can't get over it. How so? Well, I found Jesus. And some cocaine. Today on the show. Good morning, Skellywags. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Another another weekend in the bag went too went by too quick. It, did. Always, it always goes, always it goes it by too quick. quick. So, you know, um, if they could just extend those weekends by a couple more days, I think it would be great. Right. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. By like I don't know, what five five, five, five more five days would be good. That yeah. Like a good number. yeah, five days would be a good good extension on a weekend. Uh, so we have some uh, very very exciting things coming in the near future. I uh, can't quite tell you what it is just yet, but uh, I just I want I'm, I'm excited, so I wanted to kind of throw that out. We're there. all excited. We just there's some things going on behind very, the scenes. Very, very, very big, huge. Hopefully, things will will fall into place for us here really soon. We'll yeah. get some good news, but uh, so stay tuned. You'll you'll we'll announce it when it's done. Yeah. You may hear us scream like little schoolgirls if it yes. happens, but you yes. never know. But uh, in the meantime, of course, it's Monday, and that can mean only one thing. You that it's time to go back to work. Oh, I thought we were gonna. Wait. We're gonna go to work. Bye, Charlie Milk. Oh, he's back. Of course not. It's time for what you might have missed. <laughs> we got your news. What you got? What I got? Well, a viral <laughs> sensation is what I've got. This is great. This is amazing. Uh, a potty mouth toddler rants at a priest, giving her her baptism. <laughs> Uh, children will be children, and the least they are habit of doing and saying the strangest things at the best or worst of times. Usually the worst. <laughs> they don't really have the concept of social norms or how a person is supposed to behave or talk in public. Uh, this means that they will speak whenever and whatever is on their mind, and sometimes the little gems that escape their mouths He'll are say priceless. The darndest things. One of these special children who just doesn't seem to care what she said was Magdalena. The child definitely seems very outspoken and already in a video of her being baptized shows exactly what she thought of that darn priest. Check this out. <laughs> Punta, punta. Punta, just, pr hashtag punta priest. Right there, we went there. Oh, I went there. That's right, we did. And if you don't know what punta means, then Google it. Hashtag, let me Google that for you. <laughs> In the video, she can be heard shouting no as the amused priest puts water on her head. Uh, the darling little girl can also be heard repeatedly calling him punta. Uh, during the ceremony, which loosely translates to hashtag Google it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, her parents and other relatives of the ceremony Family looked show. shocked, embarrassed, month. and amused at the same time while all this was happening. Uh, many people on social media came to the child support and said they should be glad she's fighting back against a priest with hands on her doing things she doesn't want or like. Well, see, there we go Social again. Justice. We should be afraid and offended by everyone. That's right. Yes. Even your own parents. That's right. She's what? Three? I just two? think she didn't want her hair getting messed up. Probably. She had really nice looking hair. It's yeah, she did. She's all made up and yeah. pretty looking. Mm -hmm. Anybody that has a daughter. Yeah, I, yeah. I guarantee you that's what it was. Don't that's exactly I'm pretty. Was. Don't mess it up. Uh, this lighthearted, albeit embarrassing, moment came in the wake of obviously uh, abuse scandals through the catholic church in recent time and like we just or, said you know always always and it's been really emphasized in in micro um uh put underneath the microscope for social justice warriors everywhere we don't condone that action in any oh, way God, shape no, or form not. we're not making a joke of that but the parents were there it was a baptism the baptism's been done for two thousand years Get over it. Yeah, you don't have to explain it. It's okay. I can feel I'm my glad blood you pressure. Got that out. I'm feeling my blood pressure. You feel I better? feel a little better. Yeah, I do. Hey, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, all right, cool. You, well, you might give this a try. This might actually help you. Help you too. Uh, a Slovakian woman arrested for playing the same opera song for 16 years. It was Phantom of the Opera. 
really liked that song, I guess. <laughs> I guess she really Actually, no. liked that song. A uh, Slovakian woman was reportedly arrested after she played the same opera song on repeat for 16 years. The woman who was identified as Eva uh, was charged with harassment and malicious persecution for allegedly forgi- uh, forcing her neighbors to repeatedly endure Giuseppe Verde's La Triviata. It was just a record. It kept just skipping back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Said to uh, Eva was said to have begun the opera playing 16 years ago to drown out the noise of the neighbor's barking dog and just simply never stopped. How about you feed the dog? (laughs) Uh, One woman said, I love uh, Placido Domingo. She told this to a Hungarian news site, Index.hu. I guess they're they're, They're, they're here here for for you. I I don't know. Look them up. Uh, Referring to the singer whose version Eva played, but not like this. The whole street is suffering, another resident said. Eva faces up to six months in jail if founded guilty of the charges. Really? You're going to put her in jail for six months? Because because... she played a song. Wow. To drown out a neighbor's barking dog. So you took one annoyance, replaced it with another annoyance, which I will admit I've done this before, by the way. But uh, but I don't see how that's illegal. I don't understand. I mean, were they in an apartment complex? Because if if we're in a house in a house... I'm it, not. When I, when I did it, it was in a duplex, but yeah. I'm not having it louder than really you can probably hear to the street, but I can't hear anything. They, it was a neighbor that listened to loud gangster rap type music mm. like at all hours of the night while I was trying to sleep, and I don't like rap, so I took like the most just just all out metal song I could find, put a 16 inch speaker up against the wall facing the wall, and and then yeah. left. For the next 12 hours. <laughs> Guess what happened? <clears throat> he got the point. I still want to say it's a record that just kept skipping back sure, and skipping yeah. back. And then after a while, it's like everything else. You know, you get you get blinded. You yeah. get ear blind. So yeah. it comes back around to us, your daily activities. So we go from a unlucky Hungarian woman to perhaps the most unluckiest gentleman or the luckiest or the luckiest uh, gentleman in the uh, face of the earth perhaps he truly is an immortal it's there can be only one and (laughs) this is it he's it uh you think you're unlucky you haven't met kyle cook of lakeland florida cook has been on the receiving end of a lightning strike and bites from rattlesnakes brown recluses and alligators but that's just the tip of the iceberg oh the Lakeland man takes Murphy's Law to a whole new level. Also taking stings from Man of Wars and Stingrays, the rattlesnake wasn't his first snake bite either, as he suffered bites from indigo snakes, corn snakes, and pythons. All of these incidents have happened fairly recently as well, beginning with a lightning strike in August of 2012. He, he also uh, <clears throat> stepped on a Lego on his way to the bathroom one night. Just powered right through that, too. Oh, no, no, no. Everybody else have been down. Hardcore. Taking, taking... <laughs> But he just walked right through it. Didn't even raise him. Yep. Uh, the rattle, uh, he goes on to say, I need to get a protective bubble, he told the ledger. Uh, all of these incidents happened, like I said, in August of 2012. While doing an operation of a sweeper truck, Cook had left his vehicle to release a hydraulic line. And that's when he got hit by lightning. Uh, let's see what else. It was like Mike Tyson hitting me with a jackhammer in the jaw, he went off and said. The blast knocked him back six feet and knocked him out cold for almost a minute. How would you do that? How would you? If you're strong enough to lift a jackhammer, you can do whatever you want. It's like the, 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 but the, lifting it would be awkward, and then I don't know. Does it matter? I don't know. Uh, the incident caused Cook to have a minor heart attack and now suffers from severe spinal and nerve damage. Uh, In 2016, he suffered bites both from a brown recluse and the rattlesnake. The first was back in April, and uh, the brown recluse happened uh, later on that year. Uh, Cook's reluctance to go to a doctor at first nearly cost him the hand, but he continued to work because he didn't want to lose a paycheck. That's like the everyman. I can't take time off from work because I got bills. I got no time to bleed. I got no time to bleed. The incident also left the 31... Yeah, there you go. Uh, the incident that? also uh, give me give me some time. I'll probably remember it. Okay. Uh, the incident also left the 31 year old father of four with limited use of the hand. Uh, the rattlesnake bite provide quite a scare, uh, but he finished up. Here's how much of a man's man this is. The rattlesnake bit him, but he had to finish mowing the yard. <laughs> 
Well, they, they say, like, if you remain calm, you've got plenty mm-hmm. of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, it goes on and on and on, basically just talking about how bad off this guy's got. Look. So, in other words, by the time he got bit by the rattlesnake, he was just like, screw it. I, I quit. <laughs> I'm still. If it's my time, then just, just give give me sweet relief, God. Uh, the alligator Please. bite was because he was out fishing yeah. and hooked the reptile. Did you see that? Did you see that? Uh the alligator like floating down the river on a uh, on a pool noodle i have yes that was great mm-hmm. so um you know I, I think at some point in time too many of us have uh, have lived on the ramen diet college um, kids everywhere yeah and uh ramen you know if you get the, the like the name brand stuff is like a quarter usually about a quarter yeah, a pa- 25 cents 20 25 cents yeah mm-hmm. so we're talking four packs for a dollar typically at walmart Right. How hungry are you? Pretty hungry. Because a, a hungry thief wanted a hungry thief is wanted after nearly one hundred thousand dollars worth of ramen noodles are stolen. It's like pallets of the stuff. That is at best four hundred thousand pack. That's a that's a trailer. That's a truck like a tractor trailer filled. Yeah, that's like yeah, that's four hundred thousand stuff. Four hundred mm-hmm. at least four hundred thousand packets. The thief with the hankering for soup is... Wait, we got video playing. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and pause that. A, uh, with a, a thief with a hankering for soup is afoot in Georgia after police in Fayette County discovered someone who had stolen $100,000 worth of ramen it's a noodles. Foot. It is a foot. It's a foot. It is a foot. <laughs> Deputies are looking into the theft of a large trailer. Oh, hey, what's there the tra- we go. There what's the trailer? Uh, holding the massive amounts of soup, according to Fox 5 Atlanta. We're, we're here, here for, for you. you. The 53-foot trailer was parked at Jesus. Chevron store on Georgia Interstate Highway 85 North. The theft occurred sometime between July 25th and August 1st, somewhere in that area. The local sheriff... How do they not know when it... Because you know that's not something you're just going to back a pickup truck behind, I mean, too. The trailer's got to be somewhere. Those those noodles got to get places. <laughs> There's some hungry He's college kids down. out there. They can, just, they can just afford to just leave it sitting for a week. Uh, local sheriff He's said smuggling the tra- straws next week out to <laughs> California. <laughs> that, yeah, right. <laughs> local sheriff said the trailer had been secured at the time. The owner of the trailer estimated that $98,000 worth of ramen noodles was on board. Jeez. What does one do with that much ramen? We don't know. We also don't know whether or not the brand of ramen noodles was the uh, Maruchan or however you pronounce that, or Top Ramen or another brand. However, one pack of, uh, yeah, goes on to say it's 29 cents at uh, Target. So, yeah, you can just imagine the sheer number of volume. In we could do the math, the, but we're not going to. Yeah, it's roughly four hundred. It's roughly four hundred thousand. Well, it's hundred thousand, roughly four per dollar. So that's mm. yeah, rounding up. Uh, in addition to the rum and heist, the police are also investigating a string of other thefts, including five car break-ins and one stolen motorcycle. No arrests. No, no arrests. No arrests. No arrests have been made so far. That's how? How? How are you gonna? You know, he didn't just back up a pickup truck. And hook it up to his dually and drive off with a trailer full. Well, the they're heat, pretty light. I mean, yeah, but it's a 53 foot trailer. There's no way. He could probably stack a couple pallets in the back of a truck and drive off. No one's, no one's gonna, no one's gonna question that going down I-85. Right. <laughs> well, okay then. Let me just go ahead and restart that real quick. Wow. Well, you can restart Spam that computer. Sight. And I'm gonna talk about. None who wants to get really, really high. Okay. That's right. None busted for smuggling cocaine Reasonable. in her heels. Uh, Missouri nun smuggled two pounds of cocaine into Australia using her high heels, but claimed she was duped into the act by a man she met online. Mm-hmm. That's right. Be careful who you meet online, people. Uh, Dennis Marie Woodrum, 51, was caught arriving into the Sydney airport last last year. While making her way through customs, the officers in charge discovered the drugs stuffed into the heels of her shoes. But her lawyer, Rebecca Neal, told the district court judge Penelope West last week that the items were meant for a mysterious man Woodrum had met online named Hendrick Cornelius. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a bad action movie villain or, yeah, or like a bond villain yeah, right. yeah, that'd be a good bond villain i'm sad Why? idris isn't isn't gonna be the next bond i am i'm actually cool with that because because I, I think I, he'd make a great i'm bond. not a bond fan 
I think he'd make. Although a good him playing Bond would make me want to watch it. I think he'd make. A but good I, I just think he's that's better a than that. That's a discussion for another day. Uh, she was groomed into. Uh, she was groomed to provide a financial gain for this person, whatever person, whoever person this is actually belongs to. Neil said, according to the paper, uh, she went on this trip thinking she was bringing artifacts for him. Artifacts, really. <laughs> After a failed marriage and major health problems led to the crippling Bills Rudrum, a sister of the adorers of the blood of Christ. Oh, look at that cute, cute blood. blood. Oh, so nice. <laughs> a religious order based in Kansas believed she had met someone special online. They're right across the street from this <clears throat> Yeah, right? Uh, can you promise you'll never leave me? She just texted him. You are my only and first true family. I thought you were a nun. Shouldn't the only family you need is God? Woodrum pleaded guilty in January of this year to importing a commercial quality of bordered controlled drugs, but there are still questions surrounding how much she knew and what she was smuggling. Uh, Cornelius texted her, uh, writing into car to get stuff of no sig uh, significant needs, and she texted him a list of expenses for hotels and flights, and then departed to Sydney. So yes, this guy has duped her in the most dupious of ways. Yeah. And we are sorry. And that's all we got to say about that. Yeah, we don't have anything else to say about that. Yeah. We'll just move right along then. We'll just uh, move right along. Because is... we're going to wrap it up right here. Oh, wow. <clears throat> this, Speaking uh, of nuns and priests and oh my. And the spirits. All the, the spirits. spirits. All the spirits. They're, they're abounding today. Well, kids, plug your ears. Mom thinks that her house might be haunted by a, quote, spunking ghost. And people are agreeing with her. Were there any weird noises coming from the house? Oh, there were, yeah. Can you imagine those EVPs? <laughs> Can you tell us your name? <laughs> That's why all the ghosts moan. That's all the gotta time. be! That explains so much. Wow. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Would you like some cocaine with it? <laughs> And some ramen. Yeah. And some ramen, right? We've all been spooked by a mysterious noise in the middle of the night or noticed a dark shape move out of the corner of our eye when something a little out of the ordinary happens in our home. It's easy to joke that the place is haunted, though not many of us actually ever think this is the case. But one mom has shared the odd goings on in her house and suggested to uh, that the answer to all of her problems is definitely a smunking ghost. Yeah. People are totally on board with this theory. Now, what does what this, what, what this mean and why? Well, let's get into that. In a post on Mumsnet, a woman going by the username of uh, Chips Fof Ninja something. We need to get these oh, two people good together. Lord. woman <laughs> says she's trying to have a baby with a ghost. So maybe we can make some magic happen here. Yeah. Uh, she went on to, she explained her reasoning for thinking that her house was haunted. She wrote, of all the problems to have. <coughs> Last night, my partner woke up around 1 a.m. because he heard our bedroom door open. It's squeaky. Need some WD-40, but that's by the way. By the by, He didn't get up, expecting our son to tap him on the shoulder, announcing that he had a bad dream, but nothing. He then heard the bedroom door close. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Her partner then decided to go out and investigate what their son was doing. Just outside our bedroom door, he stepped in a large wet patch. He checked on our son, but he was fast asleep, all tucked in under his duvet, she continued. He then went downstairs to check on the dog, which was fast asleep in the living room. So slightly bemused, he came back to bed. In the morning, she relayed the strange incident to his partner, who suggested it might have been caused by a spunking ghost. Because, you know, the dog couldn't have possibly walked up there, peed, <clears> and then went back <throat> downstairs. Or the son and went back thought, you know, in his sleep state, he yeah. was actually in the bathroom. Yeah, ob obviously. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I mean, that's where my mind went immediately to ghost. And ejaculate uh, but just in case it wasn't a ghost the mom decided to ask the internet for their ideas about what might have caused the mess she clarified that her dog definitely couldn't have caused it and there was nothing leaking from anywhere one person said maybe your son was sleepwalking and decided to pee outside your bedroom door Although a spunking ghost is definitely the most rational explanation. I, I, it's got to be the most rational one. I, I, I mean, I, when, you, when you rule out all the other possibilities, what else uh, can it, it be? Razor. Yeah. Another comment, it's cynical <clears throat> me is wondering whether your partner didn't have a little accident or maybe spill a drink himself, and this is his cover story. Failing that, spunking ghost, definitely. A third added, I don't believe in ghosts. A, quote, jizzing on the landing ghost is something I've never heard anyone claim. My money is on the partner. What do you think? 
I think we should just read this next story just because. Just, 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 for, just for S's and G's? Yep. Uh, a woman claiming last December that she's given up on flesh and blood men after having sex with at least 20 ghosts has made an announcement. Maybe these two are connected and they just don't. There needs to be like a OK Cupid or a Bumble or a or a Tinder a, for a ghost dating, a ghost site? dating yeah. site. Yes, um, she's found a ghost for dreams and wants to have that ghost's baby, and says it might even be possible. Of course, of totally. course, why not? One day while I was walking through the bush, enjoying nature, I suddenly felt this incredible energy, and I knew a lover had arrived. Well, the answer to that question is where you find a ghost worth dating. It's not on Tinder. Okay, Casper, Amethyst Realm, and that's her name, Amethyst Realm. That's awesome. A self-described spiritual guidance counselor from Bristol, England, revealed that in December she broke up. She broke up with her fiance from about twelve years, and she's not emotionally scarred by it she's at all. Not, not obviously, at all, not at all. Uh, one was enough for Amethyst to get stuck on spirits banging in the sheets. I said it. However, none of them appeared to be father material, so she took a trip to Australia, where she found her lover. It's pretty serious, she goes wow. on to say. In fact, we've even been thinking about having a ghost baby. I well, know that sounds crazy, ghost, but... Ghost people are, are dead people, right? right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, well, what better place to find a dead guy than down under? Mm, bad jokes, we got them. I'm not going to finish the story. I just <clears throat> thought it was an interesting after, after story seeing his... So what's the dumbest ghost story you can find? Put it in the comments below! Keep following us across all of our social Jesus. media platforms. The I'm Facebook, going back the to Instagram, bed. and the Twitter. Why do we do this every week? So they don't have to. <laughs> That's why. Uh, we're going to end up being because you turn Waldorf, on your and Stadler, TV. Waldorf and Stadler you, you, before this you, is all You time. turn on the TV, you turn on the news, and all you see is Trump this, politics that. Somebody got shot, someone's ran over. Dead, someone's war. offended, people doing horrible things, blah, blah, blah. But we're giving you ghost we're babies. Giving you the parts <laughs> of the news that you missed out on that you shouldn't have that's that's why we do a service for you that's right so continue to comment like share and subscribe that's right i can't even tuesday's coming up get yourself a t-shirt we've got shirts that's right we got merch uh short sleeves 20 dollars the long sleeves are 22 and the hoodies which by the way when we filmed this it was kind of we had a hoodie weather this morning yeah you can get that yeah. one for 25 just That's hit right. us up right there on oh, that address God, man, my arm was in the way. give us a private that. message and we'll get that ball rolling for you lord yeah just let us know what colors you would like That's the color of the text and color of the shirt what size you need and uh yeah we'll, yep. we'll get we'll that get process right there for you yeah. uh tomorrow's tuesday yes uh, fair warning now tomorrow we usually we do like our kind of uh, opinionated episodes on thursdays mm -hmm. we're doing it on tuesday this week because i'm i'm mad and i don't want to wait till thursday so yep we'll see you then Hi, I'm D. You're our YouTube audience, and this is your Russian clip of the day. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, and if you liked what you see, go ahead and click on our faces to go ahead and subscribe to get all of our Monday through Friday stuff. Indeed, and here's a couple of links down below that you can follow to watch more shows like it. Tons of great content right here at Scallywag Productions. We'll see you tomorrow.